Sea Wolf submarines were extremely capable, built with HY-100 steel able to withstand water pressure at greater depths and carried as many as 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles. The end of the Cold War resulted in a premature end for the promising and heavily armed Sea Wolf class of submarines, capable boats that arguably would have been continued if decision makers from the Pentagon and Congress embraced a longer-term view of potential global threats. Only three Sea Wolf subs were built. Yet the Navy initially planned a fleet of 29 boats, something that would arguably have helped avoid, diminish, or offset the service's current submarine deficit. For many years now, Navy commanders have been clear that combatant commander demand for submarines exceeds the number of available submarines. This has increased the threat equation for U.S. surface ships and forward station forces, particularly in the Pacific. While the collapse of the former Soviet Union undoubtedly drove a need to adjust strategic military planning, it seems in retrospect that the decision to truncate Sea Wolf submarines indicated that Pentagon planners massively underestimated or did not envision the kind of undersea threat Russia's submarine technology would present to NATO over the long term. Russia has never had much of a surface navy and has for decades largely presented a land threat, yet its submarine fleet has been and appears to be extremely dangerous to the West, US, and NATO. Perhaps Pentagon planners would have been well served to more fully anticipate the possibility that Russia could remain or easily re-emerge as a major threat to the US, despite the Soviet collapse in the late 1980s. At the same time, the exact reason for the cancellation of Sea Wolf may include a number of unknowns and complex variables, as is often the case with ill-fated weapons platform production. For example, a former congressional staffer told Warrior that, at the time of the Sea Wolf cancellation, the Navy very much wanted to continue but Congress did not provide funding. As is often the case, congressional decision makers in charge of defense budget dollars regularly exercise judgment and authority to withhold funds from acquisition programs in many instances. Sea Wolf Firepower Regardless of the reason for the cancellation, continued production of Sea Wolf submarines would not have precluded the need for Virginia-class submarines but may have massively lessened U.S. Navy vulnerability during the transition years as Los Angeles-class submarines continued to retire. Clearly, continued Sea Wolf boats would have prevented what is now a troubling submarine deficit for the U.S. added to this circumstance is the fact that Sea Wolf submarines themselves were extremely capable boats, built with HY-100 steel able to withstand water pressure at greater depths. Perhaps of even greater relevance, the Sea Wolf submarines were heavily armed boats, as they could carry as many as 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles. Given this, the cancellation of the Sea Wolf class certainly explains some of the urgency with which the Navy has been building Block V Virginia class attack submarines with greatly increased Tomahawk missile capability. Virginia payload modules, now built into Block V Virginia class submarines, add an 80 foot section to the boats, sufficient to add as many as 28 more Tomahawk missiles. This brings the firepower of Virginia-class boats from 12 Tomahawk missiles up to 40. Firepower, particularly when it comes to great power threat scenarios, is increasingly important, and the need for rapid production of Block V Virginia certainly took on much greater urgency with the premature cancellation of the Sea Wolf-class submarines. There are other similarities between the Sea Wolf concept and upgrades to the Virginia-class boats, such as the addition of a large aperture bow sonar system to Virginia's, which appears somewhat aligned with the Sea Wolf's larger spherical sonar array, wide aperture array and new dot array sonar. The Sea Wolf was also reportedly designed for shallow operations and special operation forces mission support and delivery. This is also quite similar to Virginia boats, as Block 3 Virginias are built with a special lockout trunk designed to fill with water and quietly enable special operations forces to deploy on clandestine missions. One of the main roles of Sea Wolf submarine forces is to provide an undetected and lethal platform for ballistic missile deployment. The submarine carries several Trident ballistic missiles, capable of carrying nuclear warheads. This capability serves as an important deterrent and provides the United States with a second strike capability, ensuring the ability to respond effectively to any nuclear aggression. Sea Wolf submarines also have the capability to conduct covert intelligence gathering and reconnaissance operations. With their advanced sensors and communication systems, they can gather critical information about potential threats, monitor adversary activity, and contribute to situational awareness in contested areas. This intelligence enables military decision-makers to make informed choices and enhances the overall effectiveness of United States maritime operations. Another important aspect of Sea Wolf's submarine force is its anti-submarine warfare ASW, capability. 
These submarines are equipped with advanced torpedoes, mines, and anti-ship missiles, which allow them to attack and neutralize enemy submarines, surface ships, and ground targets. Sea Wolf submarines can operate independently or as part of a larger task force, providing significant offensive and defensive capabilities in support of naval operations. The Sea Wolf submarine force plays an important role in maintaining strategic stability and maintaining peace in the global maritime domain. By maintaining a credible and survivable nuclear deterrent, these submarines contribute to preventing potential adversaries from starting conflicts or engaging in aggressive actions. They serve as a powerful symbol of the United States' commitment to national defense and security, projecting strength and resolve onto potential adversaries. The continued development and modernization of the Sea Wolf submarine force is critical to ensuring that the United States maintains a technological advantage in an increasingly competitive and complex security environment. As new threats and challenges emerge, the Sea Wolf class submarines and their future successors will continue to evolve to meet these demands, incorporating advanced technologies and enhancing their capabilities to ensure the United States remains at the forefront of undersea warfare. In short, the Sea Wolf Submarine Force, with its advanced Sea Wolf class submarines, provides the United States Navy with a powerful and versatile platform for a variety of missions, including strategic deterrence, intelligence gathering, anti-submarine warfare, and force projection. The capabilities and contributions of these forces are critical in maintaining national security, deterring aggression, and maintaining peace in the world's oceans. The Sea Wolf class submarines are a class of fast attack submarines designed to operate in deep and shallow waters. These submarines are known for their advanced stealth capabilities, making them very difficult to detect by enemy forces. Sea Wolf class submarines feature a unique hull design, advanced sonar systems, and anechoic coating which reduces their acoustic signature, ensuring they can operate undetected when necessary. Sea Wolf submarine force represents a significant leap forward in submarine technology. These submarines are equipped with a variety of advanced weaponry, including torpedoes and Tomahawk cruise missiles. With their advanced capabilities, they can engage both surface ships and submarines, providing a versatile platform for a variety of missions, such as anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering and strike operations. Sea Wolf class submarines are very capable in terms of speed, endurance and diving depth. They can reach speeds of over 25 knots and remain submerged for long periods of time, allowing them to cover great distances and operate for months without resurfacing. Their exceptional depth diving capabilities allow them to navigate the ocean depths, ensuring they can operate effectively in any environment. <laughs>